Hello everybody. I found Ken Kreshka. I hope you're all doing well. I found a uh, kind of a hole in our typewriting history. Typewriters, yeah, everybody might know who invented the Royal or the Underwood or the Remington, but what about if you were a guy who invented these? You had it patented, just like anybody else who invented some attachment or holder of some kind for the typewriter, but you're lost in history, and if you were female in 1913, you're even more lost. I own some of Mabel Aaron's patents and applications for patents. She invented paper holders for typewriters, amongst other things, broiler pan, first dishwashing, dishwasher if you want to call it that. She invented a um, a fountain pen eraser attachment. First erasable pen. You can look what you want, but in the case of the fountain pen, for example, because this one isn't framed, this, um, you can see erasing attachments for fountain pens, dated 1915. She worked with Pacific Coast Patent Agency, and this is where I want to start off with you today. So here we have for 1913 typewriters. Notice the dash between attachment. It was a paper holder. This being the typewriter here, number three, it would hook under the back, stand up behind the typewriter, and you'd put your piece of paper on it right here. It looked like maybe a washboard or something. Not too complicated to build, I'm sure. But she had to hold on to her patent. She was fighting for it. And by 1916, she had to basically reapply. Here we have the 1916 version of what they called it. It was a paper holders for typewriters, all one word, finally. In 1916, now that patent I don't have. I just have her application for the patent for that one. But it looked like this. So the typewriter would sit on it, where that other one, the one I own the patent for, stood behind it and would hook under the edge. Well, if you were trying to hook under the edge of something that's mounted to a board, I don't think you could do that very well. If you were hooking under something that was loose, that was great. But, you know, it would stand up behind it. That was my whole idea here, is to kind of give you a visual. So I think that was her 1916 adaptation, was to make it for all typewriters. So that would stand on it. Neat, neat little device. I don't think any of them are around anymore, but I'll find one if it is. Here's the problem, though. There was no information about Mabel Aaron to be found when it came to this type of stuff. And, and just like the guy who invented possibly the erasable pencil for the typewriter or whatever, everybody has a history, and they'd want it known. Mabel Aaron basically died in the hometown she was born in, and when you get down to her usual occupation, it was unknown. She died in unknown in her own hometown at 84 years old after laying in bed with pneumonia. After 29 days in the hospital and three days with pneumonia, she, she died in 1944, but she was one of the big 1800s, and nobody even knows who she is. So, this gets into kind of what I've done for you, America, is... And I'm going to do this with a railroad guy, too, that you probably never heard of, but when I figure him out, I will make something for him, too. So there's a site called Find a Grave. I went into it and signed up with them, and here I found Mabel Aaron, born 1958, died in 1944, and uh, all that was in here was a picture of her headstone and her death certificate and a picture of the... Uh, th this company must employ people to go take pictures of graves because they didn't know anything about her except most of her family died before her and she died in 44 so nobody was out there to even tell her tale so i added this it's the picture of the patents and you guys can go from there it gives a little history about how she missed mabel aaron she never married and her that her death certificate doesn't even tell that she was an inventor let alone what she invented typewriter attachments and that I'm lucky enough to own some of her old patents and applications for patents. I don't know how the fountain pen thing worked out for her, but 
Um, maybe somebody else does. So I've added this to it, and I'm I'm just saying if you if you want to really prove your typewriter or otherwise enthusiasm, adopt an old patent. Learn about the person a little bit because their stories aren't being told. If they weren't Remington themselves or Royal or whoever, if they were the one who helped you hold up your paper because you couldn't do it on your own, you got forgotten about. And there's a lot of applications and devices out there that you guys could uh, pick up on too. So that's all I had to say today. Hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. And uh, keep on typing on. Take care.